I know things you never see. You never see someone taking a shit while running at full speed. Come on, kid, get rid of some of them turds in the shit box. Welcome to the Bathroom Break Podcast with me, Rab himself. Welcome to the Bathroom Break Podcast. I'm your host, Rab himself, and today I have an extra special guest. It is uh, Vern Zaborowski, and he is the, uh, I will say, original basis for CKY, but I don't know if it's original at this point. There was a guy, Ryan, before you, <laughs> then there were some guys after you and all that, but, but uh, the basis from CKY, Vern. How's it going, Chris? Yeah, what's up, brother? I'm doing real good, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's so fucking good to see you. And you, you and too, bro. You, you, you don't look like you've gotten older at all. You just stayed the same <laughs> as, like, what, what, you know, like, since I've seen you probably, I don't know what it's been, maybe shit, six, seven, eight years, I don't even know. Yeah, but, that- uh it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while, but uh, but you look you look good and it's funny you too. And uh, yeah, and it's awesome to see you. And, yeah. And just uh, just thinking a little bit about. I mean, we were chatting a little bit, but just thinking about some of the old stories because uh, <laughs> I toured with you guys a lot. And uh, I mean, you were in the band. What years were you in the band? Not like two thousand to two thousand four, I think. Okay, yeah. and I feel like that's like the best years. <laughs> it was so much fun. Like yeah. just seeing you right now, all these memories of stories are coming back. <laughs> And oh man! The best part of those years is when you guys were there, oh. because it wasn't just you know there'd be sometimes we're playing as a band. Yeah. But when you guys showed up, it was a <laughs> totally different story, and then everybody was part of it. Like you'd be doing stuff. Like Dunn would be like, "Yo, kick me in the nuts." Yeah, yeah. The band would be doing <laughs> stuff, and it would just excite people to do different things. And those were like the best times. Dude, I, I yeah, I, I, uh, I look back on those years with very fond memories. It just uh, incredible. Incredible. Like, I mean, I got to live the life of a rock star, and I can't play an <laughs> instrument. <laughs> so it was so, amazing. Yeah. So that's uh, that's pretty rad. And and uh, yeah, I mean, we toured all over the world together. I, I was right. with you all over, you know, in in Europe and and all over the U.S. and Canada and, and wherever. And um, dude, so many crazy stories. You you mentioned one. You go, oh hey, I I, uh, I met my my lady. Uh, at, it was a while back at the CKY show in Santa Rosa, and I'm like, oh, I remember that. <laughs> because uh th- it was like a it was like a warm-up show or something and there was a skate demo thing right. happening and it was like near like a winery or something like that yeah. it was in like an, it was in a hangar it was yeah. the weirdest show <laughs> so people were like wanting to skate but then they're wanting to hear the band and so like at some points there would be like a crowd around the stage and then at some <laughs> points there would be people like out off skating and doing that and I just remember being so liquored up that, like, I <laughs> thought it would be, up. yeah, I thought it would be a great idea to stage dive, and I and I feel like I just remember you because you, I mean, you have awesome stage presence, oh, so you. like you're fucking rocking out hard, and like, and I'm like getting psyched on you, going, I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah, Vern's into it, fuck, and I just run and jump, <laughs> and then and then I land in the middle of nothing and slam onto the cement, and like no one caught me. <laughs> <laughs> and it fucking hurt. And I, just, I remember I did it a couple times because I think I was a little drunk and just had that that, was, uh, that beer courage. Yeah, maybe just <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. I didn't even remember that until you told me. I'm like, he, f- he stage dived off the stage? Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of things that are a little cloudy back I know. in those years. It was funny because when you said, like, oh, the memories are coming up, I'm like, all right, well, I have memories of you. You have memories of me, but we probably don't have memories of our own self and what we were <laughs> yeah, doing. Yeah, right. You know? <laughs> but, oh, um, yeah, dude, I mean, I remember uh, touring around uh, Europe with you in that oh, there yeah. was, like, there was like this little van thing that, like, they got. It was and, a sprinter van. Yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. like, the tall top to it. Yep. And there was, like, <laughs> like, a couple different, like, spots that you could sleep in, and then we had, like, a drive. It was so weird. Dude, it was awesome. But but you guys played um, that club. Was it in Hamburg that the Beatles, like, or yeah. was it in Cone or oh, Hamburg? No, it was Hamburg, yeah. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That was really cool. Yeah. Like, the Beatles first played or something? Yeah. they were, Like, that's, like, kind of where they, like, you know, got their chops. They yeah. played, like, um, at that club for, like, a year or something together to really, like, form the Beatles. Yeah, yeah. That was a... Uh... Man, and that, that was rad to it, be at that. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, what happened from that? I remember from that club, um, 
when we left, like we were like, you know, obviously uh, we were we were living the life of rock stars and drinking hard <laughs> and, and other things and whatever. And and so I remember there being this girl from Turkey that I was all psyched on. So I tried to like I went back to her room, but then it was like, all right, we're going. We're getting on the road. We got to go and we got to take off and go to the next show. And oh, I was yeah, I was super drunk. And somehow I, I, <laughs> I leaned out of the window of the Sprinter van and I was pissing and like. I guess my passport was in my pocket and it must have flown out of <laughs> my pocket because I, I couldn't remember. I was trying to piece back, like, how did I lose my passport? But It's probably uh, the pissing out the yeah, window. Yeah, I'm, like, hanging my dick out the window, just, like, <laughs> thrusting, and there's just piss leaking all down the van. And, I yeah, I had, like, these sweatpants on because I was trying to sleep or something, whatever, and lost my passport. And I remember... We went, I mean, we went to a couple places, but then when we got to Amsterdam was when I finally figured out that we lost, right. that I had lost the passport and we took a bunch of mushrooms and then we we're the last time I did mushrooms <laughs> was with you. And that was an amazing <laughs> night. Cause we were there. Cause, uh, yeah. like Troy Miller and Viva La Bam were filming there. So yeah. everybody else came to meet us Yeah, and we ate. We ate mushrooms, <laughs> and I remember you and I going into some weird restaurant, and we're sitting down, and there's, like, kids in there, but there's girls on the table, like, dancing like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're like, what the fuck? Let's get out of here. And we got the hell out of there. Yeah. And then- uh, It was so weird. I remember, like, just seeing, like, what is happening? I, I remember, like, a couple of the girls had, like, these boots that looked like Clydesdale horses. <laughs> yeah. Something. And I was like, what? And then you saw the kids, and you're like- Wait, these worlds shouldn't be colliding right now, but they are. It's like a stripper and a little kid, right. and then we're on mushrooms, and then you're going, "Is this really real, or what's happening?" And you're like, "I don't know. <laughs> Let's get the hell Let's out of here." Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. Then, like, I got out. I went back to the room, and I couldn't do anything. Couldn't take my shoes off. Couldn't do any. I was like, "I'm done. <laughs> done. Can't function." Yeah. And I get a call from like the manager, and she's like, "Hey, where where are you?" Like, I'm in the room, stuck here. She's like, you might want to come over. Jess Margera just did mushrooms. And I was like, I'm a, come and pick me up. I'm going. <laughs> and I remember, I remember like, okay, okay, I'm going to get it together. We're all good. Yeah. And we get to the room. I walk in. Everybody's looking at me, but there's no Jess. <laughs> I'm like, where the hell's Jess? And everybody's just kind of staring like this. And he comes coming out of the closet and he goes, Bleh! and I start cracking up and yeah. they're just looking straight faced like, yeah, he's been doing this for about 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, it's really old to us. And you're like, well, I'm on mushrooms too. So everything's yeah. hilarious. For, for a guy that didn't do anything. I was like, oh my God, this is the best time ever. Like, yeah. just on mushrooms. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's funny. Cause it, yeah, it was at that time. That was the first time he ever did it. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, he was like, I love mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And uh, uh, yeah, we were, we were a little more veterans at, at that point, I think, yeah. with, with those other things. But Jess was like, Jess is like a beer drinker kind of guy. Yeah. And then like, you know, he tried that and that was fun and, and crazy. And so, so I had lost my passport on the way to Amsterdam. <laughs> yeah. You guys take off. Viva La Bam takes off. And I'm there by myself, <laughs> like with oh no God. passport. And I mean, we literally just had like a couple weeks straight of just bender, you know, like yeah. drinking hard every night, whatever else was coming up. Because when you're on the road, like random strangers are offering you this and this and this and this. And you're right. like, hey, why not? Why not? Why not? And then, you know, like I always <laughs> talk about that. People go, Rob, I didn't realize you were that bad. I'm like, dude, I was doing every drug there was offered to me on the road. And it was always <laughs> offered. You know, yeah. it was like, hey, you want some of this? And I'm like, I'm like snorting this, uh, popping a pill. Doing right. this. So when I we got to Amsterdam, it was like, it, probably the end of a two week run or something. And it was like, or, yeah, I think it was, it was like right at the end of that. Yeah. And it was like, Oh man, I, I was, I was like coming down and you guys left Viva La Bam film crew left. And Ryan gave me enough money to get a hotel room for a couple nights and like get some weed to try to like <laughs> medicate the hurt of all the drugs I was coming off of. And I remember like, being like so psyched that he helped me out like that because I did, I lost my wallet I lost everything like yeah you're and stuck. Uh, yeah and so then I had to go to the embassy in Amsterdam with no <laughs> oh identification 
How and did just you get out yeah, of there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, dude, I, I wait in line at the embassy and I'm trying to like figure out like, oh man, like how the hell, what am I even going to show them? You know? Yeah. So finally I wait in line for a while. I get into the building. When I get into the building, they call like to my mom because I try to give them my mom's number. Okay. And I don't know what time of night it was when they're calling my mom. I'm, they're like, your son is here in Amsterdam. He's lost all of his identification. I was like, this is the kind of calls my mom would get, you know, just, <laughs> yeah. uh, like, you know, every other night. And so she had to fax over like a copy of my birth certificate and my like driver's license, like photocopy and things like that and, and fax right. it over to them. Um, and then they got the information and then I had to go back to the room, wait for that to happen, wait for that to process. Then like the next morning I got to come over and try and get my photo and get the expedited oh God, passport. Dude. And I nightmare. mean, yeah. And I, and you know, coming off of a bunch of Coke and whatever, you're like, <laughs> I'm all miserable. Like I just fucking kill myself, you know? And, and I remember, so I go in and like, then they said that it wasn't ready yet. So I was going to have to come back and I just yeah. was through the ringer and, and I walk out and as I walk out, this homeless guy in Amsterdam goes, Hey man, like, you, you know, you have some, some change or whatever, like, you know, guilders or whatever those coins were. And I like flipped out. Cause I was like, I don't have shit. I was like, I don't fucking have shit. You know, like, cause I, I just like, I had had it. Yeah. And I remember losing my shit on this homeless guy <laughs> acting like I didn't have shit when I had friends that would take care of me and do this. And he just looks at me and goes, Hey man, don't worry, dude, it'll all work out. And I was like, Oh fuck. Sorry, man. Like that. I flipped out on this homeless guy and he talked me off the ledge and gave me like, like, you know, like life advice <laughs> to just chill out and realize it was all going to work out. And I, I walked away from that being like, damn, that dude isn't even sweating it. And he's like living on the streets and doing it. And I'm my fucking entitled ass is just, you know, feeling like, Oh, poor me. I have to wait here for a day. And, and, and like, I really put things into perspective right. for me. And it was crazy. I'm like, I just learned this insane life lesson from this homeless guy in Amsterdam while I was trying to get this passport. Eventually I got the passport and then I ended up getting home, but, but <laughs> That's it was pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah. But it was crazy how that all went down, you know, right. um, props so, are hidden everywhere, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the truth. Yeah. Not for real, that's the truth. Um, but yeah, dude. So many, so many fun stories throughout the years of, of, uh, of touring and, and, uh, and, and another one we talked about a little bit was uh, Skatetopia. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I remember we came from. I think we were flying out from uh, L.A. where we were living, like Costa Mesa and stuff. Flew out to Philly, and we did like a red eye. We were so tired got there like bam or somebody picked us up and i remember getting like we just signed to island it was pretty close to when we okay. signed to island and they gave us like some camera or something <laughs> and, yeah. and it got something else and i put it in my bag um and checked it and then when i got out it was gone i was like what the hell really like somebody oh, stole my shit? shit so i was kind of in a bad mood and it was like <laughs> it was early in the morning and then we get there like okay we're going to skate topia it's like 10 hour drive out to Ohio. <laughs> um, you're going in that, and it's a giant Penske truck. It was like, uh, we're go all going in the back of that <laughs> and we remember we put like the inflatable couches, there was a piss bucket in the corner. Yeah. And it was Dude, it was so good because there was a there was a couch, like a, a regular couch, yeah. uh, an inflatable couch, an inflatable bed, <laughs> yeah. and like one of those bubble mattress things. And I just remember like because I mean I I literally feel like I was drunk all day, every day for a long time. And, and I was probably drunk already when you got there. But, I, but like as we started to go, it's like, wait, we're all getting in the back of this? And, right. and fucking Hannah, Mark Hannah, uh, fan of baby, he was, uh, was going to drive it. Yep. And then we're getting in the back, and we're going to ride in the back of this fucking moving truck. <laughs> yeah. You know how stupid that was? I don't know. Well, like it, it was pretty stupid, <laughs> but you know it was pretty smart. When we were like, well, how the hell are we going to breathe? And then Bam gets that pickaxe, and he pops a hole in the side. Remember, he's like, there you go. Now we can breathe. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, okay, that makes yeah, sense. Let's perfect. carve it in. Yeah. <laughs> and it was, it was the whole well, it was the whole band. It was you. Yeah. Bam, done. Mm -hmm. uh, Brandon and Rake 
And yeah, it was How it was like the, we all in there? that trip was like because there's a photo from that trip with all of us. I have I have a yeah. bunch of those. Oh, yeah, man, and, those are some of the funniest. Was like yeah. This Bam and Ryan, like with their pants down, pretending like they were just having sex with each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Dude, so it's good. It's such a classic trip with like the whole core group of everybody that was together. And um, that's what, one of my favorite photos that's like around. It's like a black and white photo yeah. of all of us there. Yeah. I think that's my, my favorite photo yeah. of all of us. It just culminates our journey as like friends doing what we were doing. And yeah. every time I see that, I just get really nostalgic. Goes, that, that was such a good time. Dude, hell yeah. But I it was also pretty that, miserable yeah. once we got there. Yeah, too. it really was. <laughs> well, it was funny because I remember, so on the side of the truck, there was like these wood slats that like you could like kind of clip you know, like, um, whatever those, those ratchet strap things, yep. you could clip that to it. But, but I was already drunk and climbing up the side of it. Yeah. And then here it doing, goes. doing the, the whole Spidey. <laughs> yeah, like I was doing For trying, hours. Yeah, yeah. I was trying For to hours. be Spider-Man drunk, climbing up and just annoying the shit out of everybody. I, I was very good at annoying people. Uh, I loved it, man. It was so, life. Oh, the, the, the Spidey <laughs> call. Still. We could do that forever. <laughs> yeah, Spidey. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, fuck, good. dude we're drunk we're climbing up we're upside down then like hannah's hitting the brakes we're going flying <laughs> and then like you know <laughs> it was just ridiculous you're pissing on the piss bucket the piss bucket's like sw swashing around <laughs> sliding from side to side yeah, on the yeah, truck. Yeah. <laughs> like uh -oh, it's gonna spill and then yeah there's like there's enough booze you know to fucking kill a village oh, in, in yeah. the back of that and we just kept drinking and drinking and and we're partying and hanging out and i feel like we pretty much made that the back of that truck like this cool little like drug den That's you know it was, awesome. <laughs> it was like we're sitting there smoking pipes and and hanging and and just living like that and and doing whatever but what i really remember is i got so drunk that i needed to pass out i passed out on the bubble mattress while you guys are still partying hanging out yeah. doing your thing and i pissed the bed on the bubble mm -hmm. mattress, pee all over it. <laughs> yep. And like, uh, what I I briefly remember is like uh, we're stopped, right? And yeah. like I'm kind of like sort of rustling around, like sort of waking up, sort of like still asleep. And Hannah being like, "Yo, Rab, get up! Like I'm gonna sleep now. Like I just <laughs> I just drove for like eight hours through the night or whatever the hell." Yeah. And he's like, "I'm gonna sleep now," and I was like fuck off you know like and he's like what the hell i was so drunk and as he gets me up out of the bed he notices like <laughs> dude it's soaking wet like what and like i had pissed all over all the whole everywhere yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's piss all over everything and hannah can't sleep because he like and he just drove all through the night but he can't sleep because there's piss all over everything <laughs> poor hannah <laughs> and do you remember when we got there like your your pants were so pissed you had to use your shirt for a fucking diaper and you walked around with a shirt around your face it was, i have pictures of that yeah too. oh dude i would love to see it's that like some weird purple bus and you're standing yeah. in front of it with that shirt around yeah fuck yeah awesome. yeah because we i didn't have any other pants yeah I mean, that's just the way that we traveled. Like, nobody thought about, like, hey, let's put a bag together for, with some clothes. It was like, no. fuck out of here. We're going. Hell you know, no. we'll figure it out. We'll <laughs> stop by Walmart or something. And, yeah, I didn't have any pants, so I took the shirt and made it into a, a diaper. And, <laughs> <laughs> and you're I, fucking there, MacGyver yeah, over there. Yeah, there was, like, a hole for and you could see my asshole, like, through the, like, the <laughs> yeah. neck hole, you know? <laughs> it was a good look for you. Yeah, it really was. It really was. But, dude, I mean, that, that was, uh, God, that was such a fun in time and 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 crazy and and you think back like at this point in our life like now like you know you, you live a mellower life i live a mellower life right. like to think back on how insane we were at that point is just wild it was pretty insane like when we got there those dudes were just firing those large potato cannons at, at everybody and you know, just dodging <laughs> potatoes and yeah. there, were th there was remember there was cars you could catch on fire and, th and they were throwing like shotgun shells and shit yeah. in there and catching them on fire I was like what the hell yeah just random shotgun shells are just exploding in the cars they're was... lighting them on fire the, the potato guns are shooting at the truck that we're pulling up in. And we're pulling this big moving truck 
up into this like old like wooded area yeah. where it's like I mean there's an open area but it's like through this crazy trail to get up there and oh man it was old fucking, skate ramps and it was a cool fucking hellion spot I was, was miserable when we were there and I was like, get me out of here I remember yeah. that but thinking back on it now I was like that was fucking amazing yeah it was rad yeah, <laughs> it was, like, it was a, a crazy rad ass experience. place experience yeah. yeah and and just to think that that goes I wonder if that still goes mm. on. Like, yeah, I it, hope so. Yeah, Skatetopia. That that was uh, that, that was fucked. If that up. dude still lives there, I'm sure it does. Yeah, and I remember there was some situation where, uh, you know, we're driving around in the cars. It's like crazy crash up derby, and then it's like lighting them on fire and all this, and then. At some point, somebody pissed somebody off, and we had to like hurry up and get out of there. Oh. And like maybe it was like the middle of the night or whatever I don't it was. Know what the fuck happened? Yeah, I can't remember. It was some skater dude that was drunk, and he was like angry at Bam or something because he was like, "All oh, right, you took my style," and then like flipping out, and he's like, "All right, well you're all fucked up on drugs and drunk right now." <laughs> so he's trying, and then they're threatening right. shit, yeah. and then we ended up like getting out of there, and it was so it was so fuck it was it was hell. Because because you like in the middle of the day when we pulled up, it was cars on fire, potato yeah. guns, shotgun shells. It was fucking insane in the middle of the day. Add more liquor, more drugs <laughs> as the night progressed, and it was like, holy yeah. fuck. It you went know? downhill pretty quick. Yeah. I don't know how long we actually stayed there. Maybe like overnight once, and then the second night was like that was enough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't even remember. I remember playing there and we were like around like the full bowl where everybody was skating in, and that was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, that was yeah, that was rad. I mean, because yeah, there was all types of different old ramps and yeah, and uh, some some gnarly dudes that were just fucking shredding and it's like pretty rad. I remember yeah. one dude just skating like barefoot and fucking ripping though, you know, yeah. <laughs> like goddamn, how the hell you know are they doing that? And but uh, yeah, man, that's another one of those uh, those wild times. <laughs> we, we've had and that's. That's uh wow. Just like thinking back, just looking at you, I'm like, oh my god, we've experienced so many things together. Yeah, I know <laughs> it's crazy. So how I wanted to hear like kind of your your musical journey a little bit, like you mm -hmm. know, like how did you? Because you're originally from like Bucks County area. Yeah, yeah, and, I grew up in Bucks County. And like, so how did you get involved in the band? Like, did you have other? You had other bands first. I'd love to hear about that, and then. Yeah, kind of. <clears throat> well, I mean, I started like playing like music when I was a kid, like saxophone and, and nerd yeah. shit like that. And then I actually played guitar. Okay. I was just kind of like tinkering around with it. I, th I think my uh, my grandfather had a, like an acoustic guitar and I kind of picked it up and I really liked it when I was a kid. Yeah. And then um, I was in it then um, in high school, I was in a band called Gravel Blind and we played one like battle of the bands in our school cafeteria yeah. <laughs> and it was awful. Like <laughs> It, it wasn't yeah. very good. It was with uh, one of the du uh, my buddy Dave, who played in Violent Society. Remember Violent Society? Yeah. And um, then, w and then it was didn't go anywhere. And I think I wasn't really playing music. Gravel, gravel blind. I think. Is yeah, what gravel it was called. blind. <laughs> yeah. So then, um, then I was still kind of like playing saxophone and shit, like doing the marching band nerdy stuff. And yeah. I remember. My buddy wanted to play drums, and he's like, hey, can you get a bass? And my friend Fred had a bass. I was like, yeah, I'll borrow it. I'll play sax. Somebody can play bass. And then nothing happened with it, and this bass was just sitting in our basement in the corner. And I remember one day just going, hmm, I'm going to pick it up. And it just felt pretty natural to me. So yeah. I was just like, this is fun. A friend of mine, Alex, um, we were in a band together with his brother called Senator Joe, and that was like the first real band I was in. It was like a little punk rock band. Hell me, yeah. Alex, Phil, and... Uh, Originally, this dude, Brian Stefanko, and then became Kevin Fassett. And then that was, like, the first band I ever toured with and played bass. And I didn't really know how to play bass. I knew how to play guitar and just kind of, like, went around. And it was cool. And I remember um, this one little kid playing at, like, a YMCA in Levittown. He's like, you are a really good bass player. He's like, I don't know how to play bass, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, no, I'm not. I'm just up here yeah. doing it. So well, yeah, That's really cool. Like, I was just kind of playing, like, music throughout um, – you know, Bucks County with my friends. I was in um, got a bunch of different bands, but that was like the main one. And then I was playing in a um, a band called Earl and Nasty and the Polyester Freak Show, which is like a funk band. <laughs> Hell yeah! Uh, uh, with my friend Ryan and uh, Matt Buffer, yeah, and, uh, all these dudes. And then we were also I, I did like a bunch of like uh, instrumental bands with my friends that I really liked that we never did anything with. Yeah. Um, one called Marshall Carble, and we made a tape that didn't go anywhere. It was 
we were just messed up. We made it. We call it the grape juice tapes because it sounds like so. Sh- it's so shitty. We spilled something on the tapes. Like water. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was just. It was a fucking cool time. And then, um, yeah, and, and all that just kind of culminated to being in the right place at the right time with CKY. Like, I remember my friend. We were doing art together, and she was like, "Hey." Weird question. Do you want to go on the Warp Tour in two weeks? I said, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. With who? <laughs> She's like, oh, this band CKY. He's like, this guy I date that uh, I don't tell anybody about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, they're, they need a bass player. So kind of met Chad at, um, I was playing with this other band, don't remember the name of it, with my friend Lance, and um, at this uh, bar called Kenny's Bar, one of my favorite bars in, in Pennsylvania when we were growing up. And he, Chad came out and yeah. he saw him play. He's like, you're the best thing in that thing. You want to play? Like, I'm like, well, I, like <laughs> I like ween, I like weed, and I like Mr. Bungle. And he's like, yeah, I like all those things too. Yeah, <laughs> sweet. Well, that's a perfect connection, dude. Yeah. yeah. But um, the funny thing is that was, that was cool. And then Chad called a couple days later and he said, yeah, uh, I don't think it's going to work out. And I said, why? Wait, you played a show? No, no, I didn't play a show. Oh, you just talked to him. I, he came and saw us play at, oh, this yeah, bar, yeah, at yeah. that bar. Okay. And then he called me back, said, I don't, th- I don't think it's going to work out. I was like, why? He's like, well, I told the, the singer what you look like, and he had long hair, and uh, he said he didn't want to try out. I said, oh, that sucks. <laughs> wait, what? Because what you look like? Yeah. Appa- wait, apparently that's what happened. I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> wait, what did you look like then? Oh, I had fucking hell, you know. I had long hair. And okay. I just looked like, a, like I had like crazy like polyester pants on. I looked, oh, yeah. I, I looked crazy and I was like, okay. Um, that's a good thing, yeah, I thought. Yeah, I, I was like, whatever, man. No problem, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, okay, cool. And yeah. then we actually played a benefit show together, coincidentally. This is, um, and I was playing with that band that Chad saw and CKY played. It was like the three of them for a friend of ours. And I was on Mushrooms, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember, I guess, uh, we, Darren and I had crossed paths and I must have said something to him like, Oh, you're the guy that did like, I, I don't know what I said. I don't know what came out of my mouth, but the next day I got a call. I was like, yeah, man, we're going to come on over and yeah. try you out. I was like, cool, whatever. Oh, <laughs> oh, I thought, so did you, you called him out on being like, you're the guy I, I, that doesn't I don't like know. the, I, I yeah. have no idea what I said. Yeah. But whatever it was, it, it, it worked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you got it. So then, okay. So then what, where did you like, did you, they tried you out with a show at, or? No, or? At, they, they came to my house. I was living in Roxborough with, um. Oh yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. A bunch of my friends and yeah. like Joe Gennaro from Dead Milkman, Joe Jack yeah. Talcum. Mm-hmm, yeah. And they came over and I remember like, I don't know if you know, Joe, he's, he's the little sweetest guy. Yeah. I remember him like they knocked on the door and he's like, Vern, the camp kill yourselves are here. <laughs> <laughs> so they came in and I kind of just like, the learned camp it. kill yourselves are here. Oh, it's, it's the best. It was the best. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, just, I kind of learned it all like the night before or something like that, just kind of by ear. And, um, yeah. Damn. Yeah. Uh, that was that was it. That's crazy. Yeah, it was cool, man. Yeah, and then so then you went on the Warp Tour. Yeah, like 2000, uh, July. Ju- yeah. Because I, rem- I remember that Warp Tour, and then I, I, because I, it's all kind of hazy a little for me too, because I was like yeah. just like I was in college, but coming back filming, like we had filmed a bunch of stuff, right. and then CKY2K was out, and it was like kind of getting known, but yeah. I was at school trying to do college and. Then you and then you got into the band and like so I kind of it all is like what when does how did this go how did that go and and it it's was, cool to hear it you it know? was so weird so it was like less than two weeks yeah and then we were driving to Minneapolis to where we were coming from Westchester I remember meeting those guys there and it was like when the Phil and Ape still had the the house near the shit tank yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh my God yeah. that house dude I was talking about that with Jess oh, like where? And, and uh and Darren too because it's just the smell of that oh fucking God. house in the summertime <laughs> it's <was> so crazy <laughs> it's so sick it's just a full-blown yeah. shit plant right across the street it was gross just ru- like just like rolling shit over yeah. the grates of that like, you could just see like the brown shit water oh, every time man. you went over and it's so like, gross oh. dude yeah i remember um we were so we were all driving this th- oh this is funny we we're all driving out to minnesota jess is driving he's speeding trying to oh, get yeah. us there in lead time. foot like hell dude Par- we get pulled over <laughs> the, and the cop goes hey um 
Danny, you guys got a credit card? Before he says anything, I'm like, uh, no. He's like, well, <laughs> you were doing 90 and a 60, and the courts aren't open yet, so either you're, you guys have a credit card and you can pay me right here, or your buddy's going to jail until the court's open. And we're all like, oh, shit. I was the only one in the car that had a credit card. Oh, I didn't even sweet. play my first show. I was like, <laughs> I got it. Yeah, and you're, and you're, <laughs> Damn, and so you're like having to pay for the band. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah I was like, okay. <laughs> like, what, what are we going to do? I'm not going to let this dude yeah. go to jail. Hell no. I, <laughs> <laughs> dude, that's crazy. Yeah. So, oh man. So you already had to like put a bill <laughs> on the first day out. Yeah. Well, it was, it was funny because Jess always drove that old ass Cadillac. Yeah. It was like Phil had that car and then he fixed right. it up, got it painted. So he like almost, I feel like he just had to be lead foot because it's this old ass car. You had to slam on the gas for it to even get moving a little. <laughs> and then like he put him in any other car and it's like, dude, slow the fuck down. Right. <laughs> you know? But yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, dude, that's funny. So, okay. So you get a ticket right off the bat. And then, and that was the, Minnesota was like the first show. Yeah, that was the first that. one. And <clears throat> I mean, it blew my mind. I didn't really see any of this coming and it was just like holy crap like Green Day was there and, and like you know we were hanging with like everybody it was yeah. blowing my mind it was right before my birthday too so I was on the Warp Tour somewhere like on my birthday and just hanging out with like the Hot Water Music dudes like Chuck and like Fuck the yeah. Stones and all these like it was it was really amazing it was a really cool time and um you know all the Volcom guys. It was just, they they were like family, and it, yeah, it was it was amazing, man. I I, I really miss those days. Yeah. But, um, no, that's really cool. And so so that first show, like like you like you were saying, you you just kind of learned it by ear, and then yeah. you just get up there. And I always find that so fascinating when musicians can kind of do that. I had a buddy that's a drummer. He's like, hey, come out and check out my band. He's like, I haven't played with them yet. I don't know what we're playing tonight. And he just is like figuring it out by ear, figuring out the timing and doing that. And I just find that to be so cool that you guys that you can do that like like at, like in you know in in the rhythm section basically yeah. like to be able to like find the rhythm of it and and be in a basis like that's crazy to me that you could just by ear kind of learn that that quickly and get up there so like how did that first show go it was really fun i remember like i think i remember like stage diving or something like that like yeah. it, it, it was really there wasn't a lot of people in front of us but it was enough to make it really fun and it was just fun it, like yeah for music for me i don't think about it i just like did it and yeah. i just had fun and that's what i was into and that's that's how i made it happen and um it was cool, man. I just let go. I didn't care what I looked like. I was just like, I am doing this. Man. Yeah. Well, that's what I always loved about you. Like I said, you, you had an incredible stage presence. And um, and that, that core group of CKY with you, Chad, Darren, and Jess, to me, like – it was so fun to be a part of that and be around that and be traveling with you guys and, and experiencing that. Cause you're like, you're over there just fucking rocking. And I always <laughs> remember like, you know, like I'll come out and like drink a beer on the stage and then jump into the crowd or whatever. But so just, awesome. you had like just such good, like, fuck yeah. Like you're just rocking hard and, and Chad's fucking jumping off of the, the drum riser. And, yeah. and then like, you know, and, and Darren's just, you know, fucking ki like killing it on vocals and, and Jess is sweating his ass off, just beating the shit out of the drums. And like just the energy that you guys had. We had a fun thing going yeah. on. Yeah, it, it was, was very, very infectious. Like I, I knew for me, like, j like I was your friends. Yeah. But like you, you guys were all my friends, but like I was a big fan as well. So I got to be a part of that and like just experience that and, and every night going out with you guys and doing that and was like, damn, here comes this fucking energy again. And it really gets the crowd fucking excited. And and I, I just feel lucky to have been a part of that and got to just kind of <laughs> yeah. tag along and be the uh, part time rock star. I love when you got <laughs> excited, too, because I yeah. see that bottle just going. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it was Dude, amazing. It, it was impossible not to too with when the way you guys fucking rock, like like even if I was like. Oh man, I'm feeling a little hungover today. Like the minute it starts, uh, it, like that all went out the window. And yeah. It's like fuck yeah, going again and jumping off of a balcony or jumping right. off of the the, the uh, speakers or whatever. And dude, it's so fun. So okay, so that's your first tour, and you go through Warp Tour. And at the time, you guys were signed by Volcom. So right. Yeah. So Volcom was like your your label, which which was pretty crazy too, because it was a label that was like a clothing company. Right. 
I was like, uh, what? Yeah, so like, what did they really know about music, or did, did they allow you guys to kind of have freedom in that way? Oh, I guess? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, you know, it was like Ryan Emigard and all those awesome dudes, and the, you yeah. know, they, were, they were all athletes, too, so they were just like, yeah, let's, we have this venue, let's do music. Like, I, oh, I like yeah. playing music besides this, and let's do it. And then it was, it was organic, it was cool. Yeah. And, um, yeah, <clears throat> that, it was just... It was really fun. I mean, we would just drive around in that van. Yeah. yeah. And then they had the the Volcom RV and they set up their own stage. But we were helping set up every day. It was it was cool, man. Like yeah. those guys are great. Like those are just really good times. Yeah. Cool. And then so okay. And then what is it? Maybe a couple years later is when uh, you guys went over to Island Def Jam. Yeah. It was like right before because when I joined, it was like in the beginning of where like the Jackass thing just took off. Yeah. And like nobody saw that coming right none of us did we like, oh crap i know i always hear people go like oh would you put uh videos on youtube and then and then that's what jackass is like there was no youtube there was no like internet really yeah it and was it just... was this underground thing we filmed stupid stuff and who could have ever known that it would go like yeah the way like it that. did yeah. right and then so yeah so then okay so you guys get signed by island and yeah. that's a huge label at that point and then and that's when you did idr mm -hmm. yeah. okay so then uh so man so then the tours must have started getting big bigger and oh yeah big, like you know. uh, they were they were amazing like the deftones asked us to come on tour with them that yeah terrible god smack <laughs> deftones Tour. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Were well, they... I remember coming out for some, and and then there, like you being like somebody. I think Jess was like, "Okay, well, here's the here's Godsmack. Like here's their bus, and then here's the lead singer guy's bus because yeah. he doesn't want to be with the other or something." And I was like, "That was like the first time that I realized, like, damn, okay, this tour life." Because, like, we were young. Like, I yeah. mean, you guys are maybe a couple years older than me, but I, but I was young. I was early twenties, right. and you were maybe mid twenties, and and it was like. Um, man, like we just, we were at the perfect time in life to be able to do that and experience that. And then with them, I kind of saw like, oh, they're a little older. And then like, I guess when you get to that point, it's like a job where right. ours never, like it never felt like a job at it that point in time. No. It was just like, fuck, we're doing this. This, right. is, this is what we get to do. And we're, we're traveling all around and then doing live jackass shows too, like on stage at like Lollapalooza and doing those things and then doing, and then going with CKY and then jackass is happening and then Viva La Band and all that stuff just kind of naturally was happening. And I think like that was what was so fun about it. It, it didn't feel like a job. Yeah. It was just us enjoying life. And yeah. Just it, it was like a natural progression of what was going on. And it, it blew my mind every day. I was like, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, just feel so lucky. Like like, we're hanging yeah. out with the Deftones and like, we just got kicked off a tour from Godsmack. <laughs> I, like this was the first tour I ever got kicked off of. Yeah. 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 I was like, this is awesome. That was funny. <laughs> you got kicked off of that tour. So what oh was it? God. Just some random nonsense. It was a, it was a, like, it was a thing where, it was a co-headlining tour between Deftones and Godsmack. And oh, Deftones yeah, yeah. reached out to us like, hey, you guys want to come with us? And they're like the best people. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, they're right. It was yeah. just supposed to be the three of us, I think. And then all of a sudden they're like, yeah, there's uh, – the Godsmack guy's like, yeah, there's some shows you guys can't play on because uh, uh, we're doing a favor for Fred Durr. So a puddle of mud's opening. So when, when those uh, – you can only do three bands, you guys can't play. We said, oh. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the Deftones were cool enough to be like, "Hey, we're we're really sorry. We didn't know this was gonna happen. We do like a Weezer cover. Come on up. We'll, we'll play a song during our yeah, set." So we yeah. played during their set, which was amazing. Yeah. And they didn't have to do that, but they're like the coolest people. So yeah, they, they let us do that. And then it just got worse. And I remember they had the uh, <laughs> they had the laminate. So the uh, it was a dual laminate. Deftones had a cool like eagle on one, and then Godsmack, it was them like looking like this. Yeah, so I was like, that's the dumbest picture. We had CKY <laughs> stickers that we just got from uh, from Island, and they were just the, the round one with the Aussie logo. So yeah, I put it on their face, <laughs> and then like dominoes, everybody in the band, Jess, Darren, and the whole crew started putting those stickers on, and I, <laughs> and, I, and it got down, and they knew it, and they were like, "What's up with your badge?" I was like, what? 
Oh, What's up with the pass? The sticker. I don't know, man. It's just a sticker. I had to put it somewhere. Put it What's on up with your ego? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then they didn't like that. They didn't like us. And I remember, like, sne- we were all, like, sneaking by the dude's door um, when he was, like, warming up. And he was going, la, 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 la. We were just laughing with the camera. He walked out. We're like, la, 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 la. <laughs> Dude, that's hilarious. Yeah, and, and then I guess we played like we were playing somewhere. We're like, fuck it, let's just play. And then they were pulling out our power. Deftones were pulling it, putting it back in, and they just kicked us off the tour. Yeah, like it they was just over it. Was, it. Yeah, they were yeah. just over it. But. Yeah, but it's funny because it's, it's, it's a good it's story. All ego bullshit. Yeah, and, yeah, and and it is a good story, and that yeah. makes it fun. And I think that's the part of you guys that like. Like you're not a punk band, but there is a bit of that to you, you know. Yeah. Like, and especially like you and Chad, and like there's a bit of like go oh, fuck yourself, <laughs> you <Yeah>. know. <laughs> and, they and really give a shit. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's like I feel like that attitude is so needed, and especially <laughs> yeah. at that time too in your life. Like most of us are that way, and that, that was part of part of the CKY crew, the Jackass stuff. Like all of it was like a bit of that that mentality of like you know what fuck off <laughs> it was the best it was really yeah fun, and it man. was fun and i think i think that was what was funny because even just like as we started to get known and we started to be around people like that like bigger bands yeah. or or like famous people or whatever i just remember i had that i i told this story before about at the viper room though we were hanging out with all these celebrity people and bam's like slow down with a drink and i'm like fuck those people <laughs> you know like yeah. and like that was like my mentality because yeah. like, i don't give a shit you know right. and like it's like so well, what you're better than me because you stand in front of a camera and make jokes or whatever. Like, get out of here! I couldn't, I couldn't <laughs> fathom that shit. You know, right? Like, being like a kid from a small town is like, nah, it doesn't work like that. Yeah. Nobody's better than anybody. That's right. That's not. That doesn't work like that. Yeah. And uh, and I, you know, it was just funny because obviously some people wanted to like impress them or just I'm like, ah, I'm not playing that shit. Yeah, I fuck hate those that guys. Shit. Yeah. You know, and uh, and I, and I'm a camera guy now, and I work in the in that in the film business, and and I'll tell you what, some of the some of the most successful successful actors or actresses or directors or producers yeah the very most successful ones are the coolest and the ones right. that are like middle of the road who think they're somebody oh. are the ones that are just like so like it's it's like intolerable like the, their their ego and the way they act and it's like but nobody even knows you you think you're more <laughs> yeah. than you are and then the big time ones are like hey man how's it going yeah, yeah. oh cool thanks yeah good to see you. like so friendly and it's like man it's just funny how that works but i just never like really got turned on by that thing, that celebrity thing, and and uh, and it was, it was just fun to fuck with it. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> because it was like, oh, you guys are the cool kids in high school. Fuck off. Because yeah. I, I, you know, <laughs> like I always had that mentality right. even when we were in actual yeah. high school. It was like the cool kids, like I'm gonna go fuck with them. Like instead of like other people, it was like the nerdy ones. They yeah. mess with the nerdy ones, and you're like, nah, I want to protect the nerdy kids. I want to go fuck with the cool kids. You know, <laughs> <laughs> and, like, and so that's like when the celebrity thing came around. Yeah. It, it sort of I felt it the same way yeah but uh but no that's cool so then and then you guys uh i mean you you opened up for metallica too and oh, that, man. that's fucking incredible it was i i could say that's probably one of my top five moments of, of my life it, it was amazing because yeah. i remember just like growing up looking in a mirror with my friend and we would just air guitar <laughs> master of puppets from beginning to end and we'd have sweatpants on our head and we'd be rocking out <laughs> yeah oh, James Hetfield, you're Kirk yeah yeah hell yeah and i never thought that we would actually like hang out with them and it was it was awesome and their show was crazy i mean i remember and that was in sf right like yeah, yeah when you guys did that i remember staring st- uh, standing next to darren when we were on the floor and we we're both like Whoa! Oh God, this is, like it's so amazing. It was it was really. So cool. were you nervous to like go out or like at all a little bit or? Nah, no? nah, I didn't give a fuck. I was like spitting fucking beer everywhere, and yeah. I saw like James up there laughing. You're like, just I didn't doing care. your thing. No, yeah, I, yeah. I, like, like, like it, like, it, it was, was like awesome. uh, you were already just so like it was just like hey they uh, got us to come here because they like yeah. what we do. Yeah, we're gonna do whatever. Yeah, and just Dude, do what we that's do. That's so cool. Yeah, that I mean that really is a, an incredible moment. You know, I I grew up obviously it's around the same time you yeah. did and, and metallica is you know the peak so it's it's super cool to to say like my friend's band you know <laughs> open for those guys and, <laughs> yeah. and you you also opened for guns and roses and there was oh, a man. uh <laughs> there was a a, a like riot <laughs> i was there in philly with you oh guys. yeah you were there and uh i remember 
So what I remember happening is like, you know, you and I, cause you and I hung out a lot. Yeah. Um, obviously Darren and Chad were kind of, they sort of kept to themselves a little bit. Um, and, and like, Jess and you and me would really kind of connect and go grab beers oh, after the show, yeah. before the show, whatever, and hang and, and kind of be partying. And I, I, I just feel like we're partying a little bit. And then, like, word gets back, like, hey, um, Axel's not going to come to the show tonight. And I was like, what? <laughs> He's not coming? <laughs> Fuck that. Because, like, I, I really wanted to see them and yeah. you guys open for him and do that. And I flip, I'm flipping out and yelling, what do you mean Axel's not coming? And everyone's <laughs> like, dude, shut up, shut up, shut up. Like, yeah. And I was like, fuck that. Like, and I was like yelling, like, <laughs> he's not coming. Like, and, and, and you're like, yo, you got to shut the fuck up. Like, yeah. it's going to cause a problem. And like, I just remember being such a loud mouth. And then they were like, okay, we got to get you guys out of here. Yeah. And they the, took, the yeah. production company actually quit. They're like, you guys might want to get out of here. We quit. <laughs> the band hasn't been here. They're, they're still in New York from last night. At yeah. the square garden. Yeah. And you, I mean, you guys that. play, you guys play the show. Cause the, cause who was it? Mix master. Mix master was still spinning yeah. after we actually played. Yeah, so you and, guys play, then yeah. they're doing that, and the word comes that Axel's not showing up. Oh my god, it's like thirty minutes, forty minutes, fifty <laughs> minutes into Mike's set, and Mike's awesome, and yeah. people in Philly are just, ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Went, oh shit, yeah. And then they came back and said that, and I was like, oh no. And yeah. then we went out there, and those dudes were just throwing the, they were throwing the chairs. Remember that? They yeah, were, they were just chairs going Fuck. up in the air. They, it was, they, it was they, insane, dude. They ruined that. Uh, Neve mixing board. They yeah. smashed a lighting rig. <laughs> They're destroying all the shit that yeah. was up there. And then they like they got us into like was it like I think it was a limo or something. They got us like out the back into a spot to get away because they were like this, this riot was going nuts and they had to like get us out of there. And it's time. funny we just went back to Westchester. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. <laughs> okay, I guess the tour is over. There was still like half the tour left. Yeah, it was crazy. And dude, you know what was funny? So this local bar that we would go to, Duffers or whatever. Duffers. Was, yeah. So we go I, the next night. We go in and I see this bartender guy there that I knew. And we go in and he's got like this like stitches and this thing like over his nose. And I was like, oh, fuck, what happened to you? He goes, dude, I went to that show last night. Oh, no the Guns shit. The Guns N' Roses CKY hit? thing. And he got hit in the fucking nose with a chair. Oh. And it broke his nose and split it open. He had to get stitches and get his like nose fixed. <laughs> right? Oh, and he fuck, had this whole man. like this whole cover thing on his nose. Oh. I'm like, what? Fuck that happened? And he's like, dude, it was insane. I was out in the middle of the crowd. While I was going because we could see it from the side. Oh yeah, and it looked fucking hell. Yeah, and you're just seeing shit flying yep. onto the stage and flying everywhere. And it was like, oh my god, dude. Like, and this dude got hit in his nose, oh, split his nose man. open, broke his nose. Poor dude. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> yeah, he got wild. Dude. Yeah. So we were there for a Guns N' Roses riot. That's pretty cool. That was that was great. <laughs> and, and then there was a riot at the beginning of that show too. Uh, the beginning of that tour in Vancouver. Yeah. Where nobody played. I remember being on stage. We were all sound checking, and nobody's in the the venue. <laughs> I'm like this is strange. And they're like, uh, the show tonight will be canceled. And then. I remember going back and Kurt Lono was in like the back room oh, like, yeah, with his yeah. makeup on. Yeah. And somebody's like, yo, there's a riot outside. And everybody runs out and there's like dudes throwing bricks through the, the like the the glass of the building. There's people getting like hogtied and just shit going down. I'm like, <gasps> damn. And I thought the I tour was Kurt over Loder's there. there. Like, mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was caking it on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But did he, he went out and got oh, like yeah. well, interviews or whatever, like well, I, footage I, of. I think we all lost track of everybody once we went outside because yeah. it was nuts. And I just was like, wow, we just beeline from uh, like a show we were playing in like San Diego or something to make it up to Vancouver to hit this tour. Yeah. And now the tour is over without it even starting. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. Man. yeah. And, then, and then it did. It went on for a little while. And yeah. So it hit Philly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, man. Yeah, cra yeah. Crazy times, man. Dude, so, so wild. So, okay. So then you, you tour with them, you know, a ton. And then um, you ended up leaving the band and you went to the uh, Eastern Conference champions yeah that probably was... like like i think like right after I, I left like like 2004 um went into eastern conference champions right after but we, it was uh me and my buddy uh greg lyons from philly and josh ostrander and then um they had something going on and said hey do you want to come on in and it's like yeah and just kind of did it and those guys are really cool they were in a band called Guardia and uh 
And then yeah. you, yeah, you guys got signed. Were you signed by within a within a year? Uh, yeah, we got signed by Geffen, and yeah. it was just like I remember leaving CKY thinking I don't want to do this anymore. I yeah. don't uh, like I, you don't I got a taste. I got feeling. a taste of the business, yeah. and I really hated it. It's an ugly, ugly. Oh, it is. Piece. Oh, yes. <laughs> so I got I got out, and then they offered us a deal that was just too good to turn down. So yeah. You know, I, I, so there I, I, you took, are I took the ride again. again. Yeah, yeah, I took the ride again. And uh, you know, it was fun. And I still had my other band with uh, my buddy Cheedy. Remember Cheedy? Yeah, hell, how can I, I, how can I not, dude? Cheedy no Cheedy's Petey. the man, dude, yeah. yeah. John no leg was <laughs> <laughs> Dude, uh, Cheedy, fuck. That reminded me because, so I remember Cheedy, and there's this story where we were at Bam's parents' house. We were all drunk. Uh, and yeah. I, I ended up, I feel like we had like firecrack, fireworks or firefighters yeah. and we're shooting these off i'm drunk coked out of my mind cheaty's all messed up so cheaty is is Vern's friend for anybody who's listening he uh he got in this bad accident on a train and uh basically got electrocuted right. and lost his his le- like the bottom parts of his legs yeah like right by the, below the knee below the knee and he's got like uh basically this prosthetic you know, legs or whatever, cheaty, no feety. And, uh, <laughs> and so he, we're there, we're all partying. He's, he's the man. He's so fucking he's rad. And, ever. uh, and, and I, and I just loved hanging out with him and I would just get excited when he would come around and, and we were all drunk, partying, coked up, firecrackers and whatever <laughs> and he's like rab hop on so i jump on the back of a four-wheeler with a dude with no legs <laughs> while we're all yay, coked out of our mind shooting fireworks <laughs> off riding around the fucking neighborhood at like three in the morning oh, and man. just screaming and yelling and playing music loud and and uh and that was just kind of the lifestyle that we were living but uh but it was rad it's funny to hear about cheaty man yeah he, tell him i said what's up when oh you see de- him. definitely yeah. I, yeah. well he was the best man like yeah that's a guy that something terrible happened to him yeah and he, it didn't change his he's just like not at all get the legs off i just want to play drums again and he didn't yeah. lose like anything up here which was and we would like uh take him out on tour with us and like his brother uh brothers from another his band would open up remember that yeah yep and he would tell the f- he would say the funniest shit when people be like oh hey man like how'd you lose your legs he'd be like ah you know i was doing kick flips into a wood chipper and that <laughs> <laughs> and the kids are like what no, I'm just, I'm just and then, <laughs> yeah. and there they go <laughs> Dude, it's so good. Yeah, it's such a positive like outlook too, you know. And I, and I don't know if that's what happens like when you go through something like that. You know, it's either it's either way. You know, you can go totally depressed, negative, whatever. Or I think it's the individual. Yeah, and he and he's just a positive, right. like just a positive spirit, man. Just so rad to be around. And and I I just I always think of that though. That time, like I was like, <laughs> this is how wild I was living, just coked out of my mind, yeah. shooting fireworks off the back of a four wheeler with a dude with no legs driving. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hanging off the back like yeah. yeah. He's the best. I used to take his drum leg and drink yeah. beer out of it on stage. Oh yeah. He used to like, take it just start. I, I was oh, playing bass yeah. with it. We just had a we just had a blast, dude. So cool. So okay. So you were still in? Were you in Brothers from another? No, no I was in Wet Slit, which was Wet me, Slit, me yeah. and my buddy Ryan from my other bands and, yeah. and Cheaty. Um, while we were doing everything, and then the Eastern Conference too. But then we got signed and we started doing stuff. It was it was cool. Like yeah play for like we open up for black francis frank black yeah which hell awesome, yeah awesome man like hell yeah i fucking I, love that oh, dude. man yeah. i love him yeah, too yeah, it, yeah. it was a really cool tour and um but yeah other than that you know just kind of didn't do that so much. you toured with them for a while signed by geffen you guys yeah. did an album or yeah yeah we did an album for geffen ameritown it was cool man mm-hmm. we we um we did it on a mountaintop at alaire studios it's not there anymore but it's the mountain next to like woodstock Oh hell yeah! And like David Bowie owned the mountain next to it. Damn the, the mountain. Yeah, yeah. So Damn, that's cool. really cool. So we were there for like two months and just did it there. I think uh, my morning jacket did Z there. Oh hell yeah! Uh, yeah, it was it was like really really awesome. And, Dude, uh, that's a cool experience. Yeah. Yeah, it was really really fun time and it was haunted and uh, there was like weird shit going on there. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of good uh, spirits and, yeah. and goblins and <laughs> oh yeah, lots of stuff. Bears running around like an, yeah. anemic bears looking for food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that's crazy. Yeah. So uh, oh, yeah, cool. So and then you toured with them for a little while and yeah. then, and uh, playing with Wet Slit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did the Wet Slit. That was that was like dear to my heart. I love those guys. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, but but did the Eastern Conference and then you know just was doing it, doing it, doing it. And there was a time where um, we 
the the label just wouldn't listen to it. You know, it was the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, you're giving us all this money. Let's do the record ourselves. Pre-record it. We got a Pro Tools rig. Let's do it. They're like, nah, we want you to spend all this money you don't need to spend with a producer you don't need to have. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, that's the way it's going to work. It's like, oh, okay. cool. You Great. want us in thanks. debt so you can control us. Oh, sounds, yeah. sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah, thanks. So, yeah. yeah, so we re- renegotiated, and then those guys were living in L.A., and I didn't want to go out there. Yeah. Because I was already out there. I was like, nah. You know, I've already do done this. Yeah. I've already kind of lived that life. And Yeah. yeah. And then at that point, you were kind of like, all right, cool. I'm, you, you went, I mean, you still play, you just play for fun kind of deal? Or? Yeah, not too much now. Um, <clears throat> I did play with the CKY boys like uh, like two years ago. Yeah. Yeah, they asked me to come out, and um, that was like probably the last time. But like, yeah, you know, the kids around and everything now, I just, yeah. I'm just not interested. I did that. I look back on it with the fondest memories. Yeah. I'm glad I did it. I don't regret anything, but I'm glad I moved on. And uh, yeah, you know, it just doesn't make me feel the same way. I know it's it's weird. It's and you know sometimes no, it's, it's totally a bit sad, but it doesn't. Though. Like yeah. I've tried, and it doesn't. It's almost like it's forced. It's not that organic yeah. feeling I used to feel. And I, I don't want to do something if I'm not going to feel that because it was so magical back then. But when I played with those guys and we, you know, we did bite it at like uh, the warp tour and stuff. Yeah. It was organic and it was fun and I didn't think about it. Yeah. And it was just cool to like to see those dudes again and like hang out and. Yeah, that's so rad because yeah. I, I mean you bring up like a really good point with that. I think um, just the idea of it like it feeling natural and feeling like it's not forced because um, right. that that happened with me a lot with um, the jackass stuff and. People would always ask, like, well, why didn't you do the second one? Like, are you and Bam? You know, what happened there? Like, I've seen, I've heard the most insane things. Like, I think Rab had sex with April. And then that's <laughs> why I was like, gee, that's yeah, I heard that too. That, She's like true, my right? mom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but all these idiots write these things of like, <sighs> oh, this and that. And like, right. you know, and, and I think the people that, that know, know that like, Dude, it just it just didn't feel right anymore, right. And, and I didn't do the second movie, didn't do the third movie because I, I it just it didn't feel like the thing I wanted to do, you know. And right. and it was hard for people to want to hear that because they were going, "Well, we just want to see Rab be and Rab some maniac and shitting on things and whatever." And 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 like that stuff's still hilarious to me. Yeah. It's not that oh. it's not, but I oh, yeah, but I also <laughs> <laughs> but I also like. I don't know. I just kind of like outgrew it in a way of like, I'm just not interested in that. Like I, yeah. I, I, I want to go in another direction creatively. And, uh, and it's hard because I think people don't like realize that like when you're kind of coming up, you're, you're doing a natural thing and you're having a great time and then it becomes this business and then you become a product to somebody and then they want you to do it the way they want you to do it. But don't realize that, Hey, the reason why people like it is because we did it the way we wanted to do it right. from the beginning. And then yeah. now we're doing it the way someone else wants us to do it. And it's just becoming forced. And like you were saying, and, yeah. and it just doesn't feel like the, the magical thing mm-hmm. that it felt at that time. And, and, uh, and so then it's like, all right, I'm not interested. I'm going to go do these little skits with Brandon and I'm going to go do these other little things that I want to do because that's fun to do. And, yeah. and, uh, and then people go, oh, well, why are you this? You know, and it's like, yeah, well, either way. They'll like, never understand because yeah. they're not they're not in our, in our perspective. They're not seeing it. They're seeing it from an outside perspective. Like, right. They're like watching you on a screen and they don't see anything behind the scenes. Yeah, like why wouldn't you want to keep on doing that? And it's right. like, well, I just, I mean, after a long period of time of it, it just, it doesn't feel the same way. It right. feels the forced yeah. feeling. And then, uh, and you also, you just kind of evolve creatively and want to go in a different direction. And, and it's hard to do that once like people know you for a certain thing. And, and I kept saying that I'm like, dude, we've been filming skits since we were 10 years old. Like <laughs> this wasn't anything different. I'm just right. filming skits again. And I just want to do that. Instead yeah. of like trying to forcefully do what they think we should do, you know, and and right. uh, and so you know, I'm just rambling on about that shit, and, and maybe I sound like wah, poor me, but like at the same time, I just felt <laughs> like you know I, I wanted to go that direction, and it was difficult to do it, and I think because when we were young, you're doing that stuff, no one knew who we were, nobody cared what no. you were doing, and then now when you're trying to go into the directions you're going, people are going. 
Just shit on something, Rab. <laughs> and like, uh, all right. You know, <laughs> Spidey. Yeah, yeah, Spidey. <laughs> but but I totally fucking get what you're saying. It's yeah. in terms of like the music. Like if it doesn't, if it isn't like a natural flow, and you're not psyched on right. it like you were, then then you kind of you put it down for a while. And and like you know, you're a young guy still, and 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 like you're super talented. And like you said, starting with saxophone, and and you know, you play all different instruments. And 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 when it's time, that stuff pops up again, and it becomes a thing for you and then you you know and, and then it becomes a natural fun yeah escape like it like you know like it like it was to begin with life is such a weird canvas and i you know i like to not plan on what i'm gonna paint right just, right yeah and that's what i was like growing up it's just like i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm just right. gonna do this yeah because i like it and yeah dude that's a, such a great way to look at it like i think it's just like a good metaphor for it because um because yeah it does then become Okay, now I'm in Eastern Conference champions, and now I'm I know this thing signed to the big label. Okay, mm -hmm. they want me to do this, and and you already know, it, and then it becomes like this planned out thing, and like we've got to hit these numbers, we got to do this, right. we got to do that, and it's just like ugh, you really took away from the fun yeah. of this, <laughs> you know? There was and, like yeah, there was like 30 minutes per day that I felt good, and it was on stage, and uh, <laughs> and that was it. Yeah, and then I was like, oh, and it it just cascaded downhill immediately after it was like yeah mm. <laughs> and then i was like i can't do this anymore it's yeah crazy. and and i think like uh th and that's kind of like the same thing that happened with me it was like oh i'm just your monkey now i gotta go do the jackass thing and right. so i started going into writing and, and directing little short films and doing that stuff and, and i love it now and it's and, and it is like another avenue i'm a camera guy for my day job but i am still writing a lot of like scripts and stuff like that and and trying to make little short films i just i just made another um little one i, I actually shot it years ago and i finally edited it it's um, oh that's awesome yeah it's one with uh with darren miller's little brother actually oh with uh, Aaron. yeah <laughs> oh yeah and, uh, and dude he did an amazing Amazing performance and nice. uh, i'll have to show it to you oh, later yeah, while yeah. we're hanging and uh and but i'm just doing little things like that because i just i still have the need to create something you know and right. and uh and and it's in me but it might not be the same as what was when i was 20 but but it's there's still something in there you know and and i realize that and so i just keep kind of doing it yeah you're, and, you're and a creative fun. human being and you're progressing and you look really yeah. happy man you look happy doing it <laughs> thanks brother yeah you look good too man yeah, well uh well i dude it's been awesome Awesome chatting, and uh, we're hungry. Both of us are hungry. Oh my god! And uh, <laughs> <I'm> so <laughs> hungry. Yeah. yeah, let's go have a meal together and and, and uh, catch up some more. And, and thanks for coming on the Bathroom Break You're podcast. You're very welcome, buddy. You're uh, Vern Zabarowski on Instagram, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. And uh, and and then uh, Eastern Conference champions and CKY. Check out some of his music if you don't already know it, which I'm sure you do. But uh, dude. Good hanging, good chatting. So good hanging. Yeah, let's, let's go, go eat. Let's go get some food. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Awesome.